So today my theme colour is black. So I'm going to teach you how to make uh, the very common rosti. It's actually potato cake. Yeah. So today we are using mashed potato. Just potato, hot water, boil it till it's tender. When you press, it breaks up. Okay. Pass it through a sieve right, to get it fine and then we're good to go. We're going to pour the potato. I'm going to serve you uh, quite a funky sauce. Uh, Semi-dried tomato, I saute with a bit of uh, clean olive oil. So how are we going to get everything black today? Inside here, we have potato and squid ink. A bit at a time. Okay, so a bit of olive oil. Uh, I'm using smoked salt. Let me season the potato. So we mix it up. Slowly, it will turn black. Here we go. Always use baby squid. The flavour is so much better. Go easy on the yoghurt first, okay? Because you want your sauce to be a bit pasty. This is the semi-dried tomato coolie. The holy trinity, oil, pepper, smoked salt, and then a bit of the coolie. Just mix it up. At home, when you serve this potato cake, you can serve it with uh, smoked salmon, smoked trout, or a bit of the salmon caviar. Okay. Okay, in here, I got onions and a little bit of minced garlic. You can see the gloss, and slowly, all that spongeness of the onion will come out and you'll, you'll be left with very sweet un, onion ch chutney kind of natural sugars. Get a bit more oil. But these guys are cooked already, so you don't have to worry. Put salt. Why? You put oil, it lowers down the heat. You put salt, it draws up more moisture. We use thyme. Don't pluck the leaves, throw it inside. Later you take it out, it's easier. Give it a while more. Potato is cooked. Remember, we just want to crisp the cakes a bit. We still want that mashed potato kind of texture. We let the crunchiness, the other textures come from this the onions and the sauce. Oil is less dense than water, so it stays on water. When you smell the steam, it brings the olive oil up to your nose. So you smell olive oil, but you taste the food. You have cold potato salad too, so it's fine. But beef, if it's cold, it's better to be roasted, dried or kind of cured. I sautéed it, I put garlic in it, I put uh, fortadella, and I put fresh basil in it and then I blitz it. But today I make it more like a paste. Yeah, because I'm using uh, yogurt. Yogurt is sour. But if I add uh, chicken stock in uh, this paste, it kind of blends the semi-dried tomato. You know, it dampens the flavour. So here we have our, our Western Law Bar. As you marinate the beef, it will turn darker and darker. It's really like charcoal black already. He lay out all the vegetables that are tougher. Uh, shallots and uh, carrot. Just cut them about the same size. Olive oil first. So we just toss them around. Beginning first and then at the end when I serve, I serve, I season again to build flavour. Salt, pepper done. It goes into the oven first because they're not very big. I'm going at 170. After 10 minutes, we'll put in the, the cherry tomatoes, the asparagus and uh, a bit of uh, garlic. I will sauté the mushroom first and then the beef. I'm infusing the oil with the garlic. Okay, like you see, it's not too brown, right? So we still have a good 30 seconds to get out the flavour, okay? Why am I doing this? It's because mushrooms, as we all know, are like sponge. And never wash your mushrooms. How, you guys smell the smell, the garlic? Yes, okay. That is a must. Pepper, so salt at the bottom, because when you put the mushroom in, straight away, they will absorb the oil. Check out the mushrooms, yes? Can you see that brown? So. Once this batch of mushrooms are done, okay, let me take out my carrot. Ow, 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 ow. Dun, 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 dun. Try and face out the tomatoes upwards because you want the salt to come in contact with the inside. So I'm using Thai asparagus just because it's more affordable and it tastes nice too. Okay, remember when you're searing beef, pan very, very hot. 